Humanity has always had a desire for improvement. Artificial the capacity to change something as elemental as our own DNA really raises the question about what we're doing with our own evolution. There's a sense here that this has to have a profound effect on the way we train students. Gene so. editing technologies are forcing us to look at these questions and also to look at ourselves. All the things that are being done with it are moving forward incredibly. This is ultimately quickly. going to affect everyone's life. Elon is part of the larger movement in education to engage people in authentic real-world problems. One of the curricular areas we've really focused on at the school is modern genomics. That's going to be a huge area of the future economy. It's going to transform medicine. It's going to transform agriculture. For us, a lot of this is done in a citizen science framework. INA Informatics Network has two parts. One half is the actual experimental side of modern genomics. So we are working to create a hui of schools throughout Hawaii, that's a group of schools, all of whom are participating in citizen science experiments that are genomic in nature. The other part of it is bioethics. What we're hoping to do is be part of the community that facilitates a large national or worldwide discussion that engages young people in all the issues related to bioethics. So the first goal of the Aina Informatics Network is to bring genome science into high school classrooms across Hawaii. Utilizing our citizen science framework, Iolani School provides the researcher, the mobile lab, and the curriculum to bring into the high school classroom and work with the teachers and their students together to collect this authentic scientific data. What we're doing with INA Informatics Network is documenting biodiversity that's only found in Hawaii. With our new genome sequencing technology and bioinformatics, students have already sequenced new extremophile bacteria species from lava tubes. It engages them because they suddenly realize that what they do matters and that other people care about it. And you can only get that from tackling a real world problem. The bioethics part of INA Informatics Network is really a response to what's happening with biotechnology. Everything that's a spin-off of CRISPR gene editing technologies is going to be a big part of future life. The consequences of poor decisions is one of the reasons why not just us, but many people around the world are really working to engage young people and having them be part of the discussion of bioethics. One of the things we're excited about is that it's not just schools, but also research institutes that want to work with us in the creation of these curricular materials. One of the groups is founded by Dr. Jennifer Doudna, one of the co-discoverers of CRISPR, who happens to also have grown up in the islands of Hawaii. We're really looking forward to working with those institutions to support the work we're doing for education on the high school level. <laughs>